Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Annie? Yeah. Okay, good. So, welcome to our class. Good evening. How are you, Annie? Okay, I cannot hear you clearly. Um, your mic is a little low. Is there a way that I can hear you loud? Can you try to say hello? Hello. Okay, I think it's a little better. <laughs> okay, can you still remember our class last time, Annie? Can you still remember our class? We talk about countries, do you remember? Yeah, and we look into some information of different countries, for example, China and other countries in Europe, right? We got China, Madagascar, Mexico. What else do we have? Switzerland. So those kind of countries, right? And we're going to continue answering some questions about the countries. Okay, and after this, actually, Annie, we're going to have another test. Okay, <laughs> you're going to have another test for uh, after this lesson. Okay. So let's continue. Okay, if you can remember, this is the last part that we finished. So we have here Madagascar, Mexico, and Switzerland. So you were able to answer these questions correctly. So that's good job, okay? And just to review, Annie, can you read the sentences one by one? Can you try to read it one more time? Country. Okay, good. Lemurs. Okay, um, for this one, Mexico is in North America. Can you see it? Very good. Very good. Okay. So you read it good. Okay. Let's try to continue. So for example, we're going to read here, China is one of the largest countries in the world. Bill Gates, can you read this, the two sentences below? Can you read the two sentences below here? Okay, very good. So those are those are the way that you can write with the term one of the. Okay, one of the nicest thing, one of the kindest persons I know. So those kind of information. Okay, Annie, I will give you time to check what could be the best partner of this part to uh, this portion. Okay, so you're going to match them. Okay, so try to read it silently first. Try to answer silently and 
Choose the best answer. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so try to answer it first. Then if you're finished, you can say, teacher, let's answer. Okay? Okay, sure. You want to answer now? Huh? Oh, okay, very fast. Okay, number one. Okay, that is one of the most beautiful places. My English teacher is one of the best teachers. Harry Potter books are some of the most popular books. Elephants are one of the largest animals. New Zealand is one of the smallest Okay, so you say that Singapore is one of the most beautiful places and your answer for New Zealand is one of the smallest countries. Okay, maybe you don't know um, the picture of New Zealand or, or Singapore. So let's try to look. Map of Singapore. map of Southeast Asia. So if we're going to look Singapore, that is only Singapore like a dot. Okay, only that part, that big. Okay, only that part is Singapore. That big. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. So meaning to say, what I want to say is that Singapore is very, very small. Okay, on the tip. Okay, it's on there. Okay, and I will show you New Zealand. Map of Australia and Oceania. Map of Australia and Oceania. Okay, so if you're going to see, this is map. Okay, this is the Philippines, right? This is Indonesia, Australia, and here is New Zealand. Okay? So do you think New Zealand is one of the smallest countries? It's almost big. It's almost bigger than the Philippines. Right? Do you understand, Annie? Okay, so what do you think? So we're going to change, right? Uh, your answer was probably Singapore is one of the smallest countries. Then New Zealand is one of the most beautiful places. Why we say beautiful? New Zealand. This is New Zealand, very beautiful country as well. Okay, can you see it? So here we got Auckland, New Zealand. Beautiful, okay? Wow, all right? New Zealand tourist spot. So this is New Zealand, okay? So let's try to check. You said my grandma is one of the kindest per people. Very good. That's what I said. Singapore, we're going to consider it as one of the smallest countries. Then you say my teacher is one of the best teachers, my English teacher. Okay. Harry Potter books, you say some of the most popular books. Good job. Elephants are, you say one of the largest animals. Good job. And lastly, New Zealand is one of the most beautiful places. Okay? Okay, do you understand my point? Do you understand? Okay. Can you tell me a sentence that you're going to use one of the blank? Like this pattern. Can you try to make sentence?
Can you make sentences that you're going to follow the structure of one of the most? Do you understand? So you're going to write sentence. Do you understand now, Annie? For example, you're going to write, my mother is one of the most beautiful people I ever seen. Do you understand? So you're going to write this kind of way, one of the most. Okay, Annie, can you try to give me a sentence? You can think first. Okay, what is your sentence? My hat is one of the cute animals I like. Okay, one of the cute animals I like. But you have to say one of the, how are you going to make it the most? So you're going to put EST, one of the cutest animals. I like, okay? You understand any? So you have to put here like this one, EST. So meaning the most, uh, like um, the maximum, right? The highest level. So you put EST, okay? Do you understand any? But this is a very good sentence, okay? Good job, good job. Okay, let's go back. Okay, for this one, write and circle and write the correct word. So I want you to tell me whether it's thousand, million, or billion. Okay, for number one, what is it? Very good. Number two. Okay, good job. Billion. Okay, uh, sorry, the correct answer is million. Okay? Million. Only million. Sorry, um, sorry. Uh, yes, the correct answer is million. Next. Very good. Next. Ninety-eight million. Good job. Okay, it's million. Okay, it should be million. Okay, ninety-eight million. Continue. Ninety-eight million. Okay, good job. And last. Thirty-seven million. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good job. That's quite easy. Now we're going to have a writing practice here. Can you still remember this pattern? Okay, for example, you're going to write a sentence for number one. How are you going to write a sentence using these words? Um, India is one of the largest countries in the world. Very good. India is one of the largest countries in the world. And next, number two, can you try to write a sentence for it? It's India in South Asia. Again, India. India in, is in South Asia. Very good. India is in South Asia. Number three. Uh, India is the second most populous country in the world. Very good. Number four. 
over 1.1 billion people live in India. Very good. Good job. Number five. Okay, good job. And lastly, there, there is there is there are eighteen, 18 different languages. Languages. Can you say it? Languages. Languages. Okay, good job. So there are eighteen different languages. Have you seen India, uh, Annie? Have you seen India? pictures of India yes. India so this is India study yeah did you study about India they have like no. oh not I yet oh Oh, you have teachers from India? Yes. Oh, I see. What subjects they teach you? English. English? Oh, I see. Are they good teachers? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't like her. You don't like their accent like, Good morning, Ani. We are going to learn English today. It's like that kind of accent. <laughs> what day is okay so what should be the correct way to say it what the day is it right what today is it okay what is the day today <laughs> so she cannot she doesn't remember the day so that's fine i see oh she's a lady she's a girl teacher from india i see i see and we're, let's try to see some pictures of india India's tourist spot. Okay, there are a lot of, you know, this one, the most famous Taj Mahal. You know Taj Mahal? So this is actually a place um, like cemetery where you place the dead people. Okay, so you call it Taj Mahal. It uh, is India, India, India is big. Sorry? India is big. Very big. Um, India is very big. Um, maybe China is maybe bigger than India. But yeah, you can say that way. Um, you can consider that China is the biggest country in Asia. Yes. Then second would be India. Okay? I can't believe it. Sorry? You can't believe it. Okay, let's try to see the map. Map of Asia. Yeah. So if you're going to see the map of Asia, can you see it, this part? So China is very big, right? Here. And India is this one. It's a little big. It's bigger than this part. You see, Vietnam is only this part. So even you put Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam together, India is still bigger. <laughs> All right. Yeah. India yeah, is... Philippines. Philippines is here. Oh, it's near. Yeah, yeah. So, Philippines, Vietnam here. So, if we're going to see this... this, uh, You called actually this one Indochina Peninsula. And this is Indian, India. Okay? So, very big country as well. And actually, also known to be dirty, very dirty country, India. Yeah, usually dirty country. Yeah. Streets of India. You see? <laughs> this is the typical Indian street. Uh, a lot of people. There are a lot of people. There are too many people in India. So that is one of the reasons. 
So, if we're going to look for some places, you can see New Delhi. This is New Delhi, right? So, look on the streets. A lot of people, right? Can you see? Sorry? Yeah, it's very, um, they are very busy at night. That's true. Okay. <laughs> you don't like much. It's okay. Um, maybe people are more into spirituality, praying. They love praying in India. So, so that's why. Okay. So let's go back now to our class. At least you got to know a little bit of India. Okay. Now... Let's try to make sentences here, Annie. Um, we're going to put it here. So, can you try to make sentences here the way that you made the first one? Madagascar is in the Indian Ocean. Okay, very good. So, Madagascar is in the Indian Ocean. That's one. Number two. Madagascar about 20 million? Oh, no. Uh, Madagascar is about. You don't say is about, you say has. Has. Madagascar has about 20 million people. Very good. Next. Okay, the country doesn't speak. Who will speak? The people in Madagascar. Okay, can you say it? The people in Madagascar. The people in Madagascar. Okay, good. The people in Madagascar speak Malagasy and French. Good job. And Nas? Lemurs again. Lemurs. Are no is you say are okay. Okay, good job. Say lemurs are the famous animals in Madagascar. Can you say again? In Madagascar. Good job. Next. What about Mexico? Can you start your sentence? Mexico is in North America. Very good. Next. And Mexico has about uh, 109 million people. Okay, good job. Next. Mexico in my Mexico speaks Spanish. No S. You only say people in Mexico speak Spanish, can you say again? Good job. Les? Tacos and burritos are the famous food in Mexico. Good job. Nice one, Annie. And last, you got Switzerland. Is in, can you say again? Good job. Next. Switzerland has about 7.6 million people. <laughs> you can say people. Maybe they did not just include people, but say people. Can you say again? Switzerland has. Very good. Last, uh, sorry, continue. What's the other? People in Switzerland speak German, French, Italian, Roman. Okay. Very good. Or you can say the languages spoken in Switzerland are German, French, Italian, and Roman. Because it doesn't mean that People can speak four languages. It doesn't mean. It means that some parts in Switzerland can speak German, 
Some parts can, can speak French, Italian, but not everyone could possibly really talk four languages, only a few, okay? So you can say that languages spoken or some people or people in Switzerland can speak or may be able to speak either German, French, Italian, or Romance, okay? Do you understand any? Okay, good. And last sentence. Switzerland is one of the richest countries. Good job. Okay, good job. Good job. Give me a high five. Very good. Nice one. So you're saying it very good, very correct. So good job. And you're learning so fast. Okay. Um, look at the previous chart and draw your story. Uh, you don't have to do that. This is what I said before to you, that you're going to have another um, test and that will be on the coming Saturday okay since we still have time let's move to the next class okay so let me just get the, the material okay can you see my screen Annie yeah. so we're going now to unit 49 we're very fast Okay, can you read the title? Busy families. Very good. Busy families. And what can you see on the picture? Okay, can you describe them? Can you describe the picture? Okay, good job. And can you talk about them? Can you describe them? Sorry. Oh, it's okay, but at least you know there are seven people, right? And it's a family picture, right? And who do you think is the daddy, the mommy? Like, you try to explain to me. What are they wearing like that? He is wearing a shirt. Okay, a shirt. Very good. Sorry, I cannot hear you. Can you say it loud? Can you put your mic near to your mouth? Okay, so the boy is waving his hand. Good job. What else? Okay, good job. He has a beard and mustache. Very good. The dad has a beard and a mustache on his face. And he's wearing a white shirt. Okay, that's good. Okay. okay, next to him is the mommy. Okay. She's holding a baby. Good job. Or holding or carrying. Okay. You can say carrying a baby. Good job. What is she wearing? Wearing a blue dress. Very good. And next? Okay. Next is his sister. She mm -hmm. wears. She wears. Okay, good job. So maybe not really a shirt. Maybe that is also a dress, right? It could be a dress as well. This is grandma. 
Black is maybe brown. I think that's brown. Okay, good. Next. Uh, this is Grandpa. He uh, wears uh, glasses and a gray shirt. Okay, good. And. Does he have hair? Yeah. Yeah, but it's bald in the middle, right? Okay, bald. Okay. And it's colored gray hair. Okay, meaning he's old. He also has beard and mustache. Okay, good job. Okay. We're going to do listening here, Annie. And you're going to draw lines to, to know who is the person being talked about. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. 49B. Busy families. Listen and look. There is one example. Who are all these people in your picture? My mum, my brothers and sisters, and my cousins. We were all really busy that day, Mr Crown. I can see that. Is that one of your sisters? The girl on the floor? Yes, that's Jane. She's playing with her dolls. They're wearing pretty dresses. Hmm. She likes dressing them up in funny clothes sometimes. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. My brother David is always hungry. Which boy is he? The one with curly black hair? That's right. And the sandwiches. Did he make them himself? No. Mum made them for him. Do you know my cousin Sally? No. Which one's she in your picture? She's the girl who's outside. Making a snowman in the garden. The one with the long blonde hair? No, the other one. She's got a purple scarf round her neck. Poor Lucy had quite a lot of homework that afternoon. Doesn't she enjoy writing? She prefers reading, playing chess or making things. Look, she's wearing her favourite hat. Why? She says it's her lucky hat. I don't know how she can study in our kitchen. It's always so noisy there. Why is that boy cutting up that newspaper? Was he doing some English homework? Art, actually. That's Jack. He was helping my other sister to make a space rocket. He's really good at giving advice and explaining things. Well, it looks quite difficult. It was. They couldn't make the rocket tall enough. Our house is usually quite untidy, but my oldest sister doesn't mind that. Doesn't she? Which girl is she? The one who's cleaning the floor. With the brush in her hand? Yes, that's right. Her name's Vicky. I think I'll go and tidy my room up now. See you later, Mr Crown. OK. Hey, are you finished, Annie? Are you, are you finished, Annie? Yes. Are you sure with your answers? Yes. OK, sure. Can you tell me the first one being talked about? Who is it? Okay, who is David? David is eating sandwiches. Okay, and how did they describe David? Mm. 
describe the hair, right? How did they describe the hair? David has. David has curly, curly black hair. Okay, short curly black hair. Okay, curly short black hair. Okay, good job. Next, who is being talked about after David? We have. Okay, and who is Sally? Sally is a girl, uh, has a purple, purple scarf on her neck. Okay, good. She has a purple scarf on her neck. And what is she doing? It's building a snowman. Okay, okay. Building a snowman, right? Good job. Do you know Frozen? Do you know Frozen? Elsa, right? It's like, do you want to be the snowman? Do you know the song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, who is singing in that part? Do you remember? Who is singing? Anna. Good job. And your name is close to Anna. Annie, right? Annie, Anna. Right? So, you could be a princess, right? Okay, good job. So, that is Sally. And next to Sally, who is being talked about next? Lucy. Okay, who is Lucy? Lucy is writing. Writing. And what is she doing? Um, why? Definitely, what is she doing there? It's not just writing, right? Um, she is doing something. Sorry, she reading. reading. Actually, she is finishing her homeworks. Very good. And they wondered how can she study in the kitchen, right? Do you think you can study in that kind of kitchen, Annie? No. no? Why? It's very noisy, right? And a lot of disturbances. It's very distracting, right? A lot of people cleaning, laughing, or very noisy. Okay, good. Next, um, and what is she wearing? Uh, how did they say it? She is wearing a lucky hat. Yes, she's wearing her lucky hat. Do you think she's lucky today? Yeah, it could be, but I think not so much lucky because she has a lot of assignment, right? Not so lucky enough. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I see. Yeah, after she finishes, she will be lucky, right? Good job. Next, who is the next person? Okay, who is Jack? Jack is cutting a paper. Okay, he's cutting newspapers and is Jack um dirtying the room? Is he just doing yeah. it just to dirty the room? To mess? I no, no. Jack is helping, right? Remember she, right? So he's not just dirtying the room. He's cutting it, and he will give the paper after to to the sister, right? Because she is. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, they are doing a rocket, right? They are doing a rocket. Okay, so Jack is helping and very good. And he is always good in giving advices. Okay, and lastly, who do we have? Okay, what is she doing? And who is she? She is cleaning a floor. Okay, so she's cleaning the room. And how does she look like? Uh, 
T-shirt. Okay. And? Okay, long curly hair, okay? Long curly black hair, right? Okay, very good, Annie, so good job. So give me high five, you got perfect score for this one. Okay, nice one, nice one. All right, good job. Okay, just a second. Let me just save your answer here. Okay, for the next part. Okay, can you see the picture? Okay. Let's continue. Try to remember everything you can see, okay? Try to remember everything you can see. Tell me if you're ready, okay? Try to remember everything you can see. Okay? Okay, sure, let's go. Okay, how many knives were there in the picture? Your answer is two. Where can you find the knife? Uh, the one is uh, next to the, the, the... What is it? Next to the... I don't know what is it. Okay, so one is next to the butter. This is the butter, right? And the other one is? Okay, the other knife is used by the mother. Good job. Nice one. Next. How many people had curly hair? Sorry, your answer is two. Okay, the correct answer is three. Remember as well the girl displaying dolls. Of course, we also have Vicky and also David, right? They are curly hair. Okay, good job. Where was the bother? What do you call that? Next to the knife. Okay, next to the knife. Okay, on the plate near the butt near the bread, okay? The butter is on the plate near the bread. Okay, good. Or next to the knife. But actually, um the butter, the knife is here, right? So it's not really next. Maybe in front of um the knife is in front of the butter, okay? Next, where were the sandwiches? On, uh, on the table. Okay, which part of the table? You see, I can see uh, books, doll, um, skyrocket, glue, but where particularly are the sandwiches?
Okay, you can see on the table in the red box on the cardboard. Okay, uh, well, there is, that's my next student already. Later. Okay, the sandwiches are on the table. One is on the table and another is on the red box on the cupboard. Do you know where is it? Okay, so we're going. I know, I know. I know. Yes, you can remember, right? Good. So we're going to stop from here, Annie, because it's already time. So thank you very much for coming to class and I'm going to see you on Saturday. Okay, so bye-bye, Annie. Okay, bye-bye now. We're going to have tests, all right?